I'm Peter Matz. Uh, I take care of marketing at Contron for the uh, SimCloud line of uh, products. Uh, for those who are not acquainted with uh, Contron, uh, we come from the telecom space. We've done for many years different types of hardware uh, that was made as uh, off-the-shelf hardware for carrier grade networks. Uh, in the last four years, we realized that carriers wanted to move more into virtualized markets or virtualized uh, deployments to role services. Uh, so we developed a new uh, platform called SimCloud. And basically, it is a blend of carrier grade type of requirements or, or features uh, blended with the economics of an IT commodity type server. Uh, the SimCloud, the MS-29 series, um, is really uh, built more for a uh, than just being a server. It's it's uh, has nine modular sleds in the back, where you can run your services uh, concurrently with other types of services. Uh, we have now launched this past week the OpenStack platform on this uh, platform, and we work with all sorts of different VNF vendors to validate uh, proof of concept reference solutions. So. Uh, you can run multiple third-party VNFs on the same platform. And uh, this is uh, only in a 2U form factor, and uh, we've had a lot of great reception uh, for this for mobile operators, uh, cable providers, uh, and cloud providers who are looking to run services on a single 2U box and uh, for OpenStack environments. So my name is Eric Sarrault. I'm the software product manager at Contron. And what we have here uh, that we are announcing at Mobile World Congress this week is our launch of a canonical base OpenStack deployment based on our SimCloud MS2900 platform. So what we did is leverage canonical tools uh, such as Mass and Juju in order to enable us to deploy OpenStack on our uh, SimCloud platform. It resolved a lot of pain points into deploying the platform and uh, enabling us on the deployment side so what we wanted to make sure is also that the platform remain truly open source. One of the challenges that the industry is seeing in SDN and NFV integration is um, the lack of proper lifecycle management in the platform. Canonical's way of delivering OpenStack actually enables us to stay close to what the community is delivering every six months and also with longer term uh, support for telco and service providers.